first. <laughs> All right, as you guys saw, we've just put on this carbon fiber door. Abel has approved to do the dyno tomorrow. So of course, my mind is blown with all these things I need to do and everything that I'm juggling, and you know that I do everything half-assed and never get it all done. We're gonna go take it over to Abel right now to prove that it can run. While we're doing that, I wanna show you guys finally the sound of this monster street port. This thing is much wider than it used to be. It used to be just a very mild street port and it made all of that power. So you know that those guys that are doing bridge and all those semi-P and all that have a good point, but you can make music with a street port. Oh, I am spoiling you right now. What you got there? I got a seatbelt for you. Now don't get too excited. This isn't the uh, G-Force one, so uh, it will collapse your spine in half when you crash. <laughs> at zero pounds of boost. Wait till you see the car actually hit some power. That's how this car is supposed to sound. Sounding much better, but we're gonna do a couple really low, low boost pulls. It's gonna break up, but you can hear an untuned monster street port in the raw. Way too dark for cinematic shots. Yeah. You know, all things considered, this door is actually pretty, aside from the fitment of it not fitting right, the door feels solid until I open it all the way without thinking and you're. <laughs> <laughs> 
This video went off the hinges of what it was supposed to be, but you know what's nice about it? This car is still in one piece and there is no fire. Wiring's working great, fuel system's working great, everything is working fine, except for Jared's weight loss program. <laughs> hey, Dude, I'm, know, sorry, I'm sorry, I won't make fun of your carbon fiber anymore, okay? I'm sorry. He's, je he's jealous of the carbon fiber on the V. The point is, this car, I feel, what do you feel? He feels ready for the dyno? No. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't either, I honestly, I was gonna say, I was gonna say for the video, I was gonna say yes, because if Abel watches this before tomorrow, uh, I wanted him to think that we have full confidence. The fact is, is that the problems that we are having with this are things Abel can address. They are way above my pray, they are way above my pray. <laughs> What's going in the video? They are way, <laughs> they're, they're the are way above my income grade. <laughs> they're way above my pay grade, but Abel can handle those hesitations, those stumbles. There's some weird things happening and those are things he can fix. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? The guy, the guy's baked for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, everybody's fucking here today. <laughs> the guy almost blew through the red sun, uh, the stop sign. The guy almost hit your carbon fiber door. Oh my god, even it hit my carbon fiber door. <laughs> Doing a system check, it, it looks like the only issue we really have is Abel's epoxy <laughs> didn't hold where we used to have a turbo feed line for the oil. There's a little baby leak. Otherwise, everything else is running great. Really great. A little too great. It, the car currently is just dealing with tuning issues. It's not water issues, it's not leaking. Like I said, other than that small one, it's not electrical issues, it's not fueling issues. Nothing is having a problem in those auxiliary systems. So I'm very happy with it. Again, this is the first run, so there's no tune, there's no nothing on it, just real subtle problems that make it sound not perfect. The cool part about what Abel will do to this is using the Adaptronic, adjust transient throttle issues, adjust idling issues, and of course, adjust high horsepower. I feel like she's ready to go. I'm extremely terrified. We'll find a couple issues out probably while we're dynoing it. And I think, see, four digits. Do you wanna do that thing where like, in the video? No, I'm not doing cheesy. Do it, do it. No, I'm not doing it. 